okay here we will see a few query editor examples that we can do using the query editor we will see how we can rename columns how we can use the key approach how we can uh, use the replace values change the data type remove columns how we can choose the columns how we can uh, use the duplicate or reference this is quite important and then we will see how we can move column to a different position you can do a group by and then you can use uh, a row first uh, use first row as a header so few examples we will see here how we query editor we are using and later also we will see when we are using uh, dax functions that time also we will see how we will use this so without further delay i will open my uh, power bi desktop and i have downloaded a sample uh, excel from the uh, msdn site itself uh, which is a financial data so uh, what we will do is we will load that data and i will also put uh, this data in the uh, in the video so that you can download uh, this data and you can you can work with that so i will click on get data and you can see here excel i will use that and this is the financial sample that we i am taking over particularly for this this uh, demos so i will uh, uh, click on open so the moment you will click on open then you have the option uh, first of all which uh, sheet you want to select i will i want to this, use this excel uh, sheet and uh, then you can see here this is the data that you have so let uh, let's click on transform data so that it will open directly our query editor so i'll click on that and you can see here it is opening our query editor and just to show you so you can see here these many columns are there so since the data is in excel so if i will select any column you, you will be able to probably see uh, uh, the data type correctly so uh, you, you can see here country the data type is coming as text and if i will go to manufacturing price it is coming as whole number sales price whole number so uh, the data mostly uh, from excel it always comes in uh, it it mostly take the format correctly but if you uh, load from sharepoint or something you can you can do uh, select that and you can change the data type here so you have the option where you can select the data type now next thing is you can rename the columns for example if i will actually go here and you can see here this uh, year is there for example uh, 2014 uh, like this year is there you, if you want to rename this column then you can right click and then you can see here uh, some area you can see here rename the column is there so you can do the rename column from here apart from that if you will go to the transform tab uh, you can see here there is a rename button so i'll click on this you can see here it is opening the same thing so i can let's say i will say your number so i'll just do like this and you can see here the moment you are coming here so you can see here it is or uh, till this position uh, we were having like this and if you'll click on this then you can see here we are at year number now next thing what we can do is we can actually replace the values for example let's say by mistakely i put 2014 here actually it should be 2015 uh, let's say now to do this if you will go here select this and uh, you can uh, click on uh, you can see here there is replace values is there so that means if you will click on that it will actually coming up with your dialog box which is saying replace i mean value to find and what value you are going to replace with uh, the same thing actually you can go to the home tab and you can see here replace also is there so if you click on replace you have the option so in this case for example i will say find 2014 and replace with 2016 let's say and click on ok you can see here all these values now become 2016 which was 2014 now it become 2016 now at the same time you can see here it added the steps as well suppose i'll go here i will be able to see the old values now imagine you don't need uh, you you don't need uh, to i mean by mistake you renamed it or this step you don't require you can actually click on close and you can see here the step got deleted and the values become undo here so that is a good thing that you can uh, whatever the steps are there you can undo that so in this case we undo that so our year uh, as uh, came as whatever it was there so it is uh, it is like that next thing is if you'll actually see here uh, you will be having if you'll see come down you can see here 16 columns are there 700 rows are there 
Now there is an option. Uh, if you will see here, it is saying remove rows or keep rows. For example, if you will say keep top rows. So how many rows you want to keep? For example, I will say you keep a uh, six triple nine. I'll click on OK. You'll be able to see here one row gone, and now it is a uh, six ninety nine. So if you don't want, let's say if you don't want this step, you can click here and now you can see here 700 rows are there. So similarly, you can see here keep rows, uh, bottom rows, range, uh, keep a range of rows. So that means you will say first row and then the number of rows you want to keep. So that uh, you can uh, define in this as well as if you click on remove rows, you can see here it is saying uh, remove duplicate rows. Now. If you have any duplicate uh, rows or if you have any blank row, then it is this uh, this uh, functionality will be very much helpful for you. Lot of time what happened is your Excel is not properly formatted. You will you might see a lot of duplicate records are there, but you are not expecting that. You don't need to do anything. Just click on this button. It will remove the duplicate rows. Similarly, if I will tell remove top rows and here I will say how many rows I will remove. You can see here first two rows are government segment i will just remove two rows from here i'll click on okay now you can see here both the rows gone and you will be able to see actually what is the uh, things that is happening in this query so this way you can actually remove or you can keep rows another uh, quite uh, important thing is the use the first uh, row as header in this case in this particular excel we have the uh, header rows are there so you can see here we have a proper header segment countries there lot of time what happened is if your excel is not formatted properly or the first row is not as a header if if the uh, first row start from the one if you can see it here then in that case you don't need to do anything just say use a uh, first row as header and it will actually uh, take this similarly if you have this one if will, i will do let's say huge header as the first row you can see here the segment country this thing come back here and this will replace by column one column two like this so but my actually my according to my requirement the first row should be my header so in this case i will go click here huge first row as header the moment i'll do that you can see here the segment and this column names country product becomes my header row so this is quite handy feature that you can use uh, to make your header uh, of your table properly so another one is the columns that you want to remove. For example, uh, if in this case, suppose my uh, segment collect is, uh, column is selected and I will uh, click on remove uh, column, you can see here, uh, it is asking me to remove the column or remove other column. So if I'll say remove column, so the segment column gone from here and you can see here it start from now the country column. So let me just undo that. So I'll close that my segment column back the other one option you can see here it is saying remove other columns so if i'll click on that it will remove all other columns and i i am with this particular column only so um, you can do this remove uh, these things then the choose the column so if i will just click on choose columns here i have the option what are the columns that actually i want to keep this in my table uh, because you might not need to see all the columns as a business user because ultimately we are using Power BI to analyze our data. So I don't need, need to really see everything over there. Probably, for example, I want to see for this uh, particular case, uh, you know, for which country, what is the product that we sell or uh, for example, in this particular case, suppose I want to use, uh, I want to check the country and product and the unit sold. So if I'll click on OK, you can see here in this case, I'll be able to quickly say for this product you know what is the country that and how many units we have sold here so uh, this this is really very much helpful where you can select the columns which you require now next thing uh, what we can uh, do is if we will uh, actually go to uh, the transform tab you can see here there is uh, something called as uh, move so for example this is the segment uh, column and uh, uh, or for example this product or the country suppose i have selected and i will say move uh, to the right so if you'll see here now product columns come back here and my country column here so if i want to go to left you can see here 
not only that you can actually click and you if you want to make it to uh, to the beginning or to the end you can actually do that this will be very much helpful when you are actually your let's say your hr people or your finance people send out the data in excel but you want to see in a particular column order then this will be very much helpful so you can actually uh, move or left right you can do those columns over there Similarly, if I will go to the let's say I have selected the product column here or I selected the country column here, I will go to the format and I can actually make it to uppercase, lowercase or uh, you know you can add a prefix to that, you can add a suffix to that. So you can do that even if you have space or something you can use the trim which will remove the space. For example, in this case I'll make it to upper letter. You can see here this becomes uppercase and if I will uh, capital each, low, each uh, letter then each word letter then you can see here united states of america every first letter becomes capital so you can use the formatting option here uh, particularly uh, from this option here apart from that you can actually filter for example in this case i want to see only the canada uh, um, uh, record so you can actually see only the canada records here and it in fact 193 uh, one, uh, 139 rows are there so not only based on one column you can go to any columns for example the discount brand i want to see the high uh, one so click on OK you can see now now it is 53 rows because can uh, you know Canada country and then the discount brand is high we have only two uh, uh, you know this many records are there 53 records and here from the formula if you don't want then you can just close it and then you can you will be able to come back to your original uh, uh, query over here last thing I want to show you is a very important thing if you'll go to the home tab um, if you'll click on manage you can see here uh, when you are actually manage you are doing it is for this particular table or uh, whatever this query we have now if i will do a duplicate i'll duplicate you can see here now this becomes financial too you can anytime actually go and you can actually uh, re rename it so you can have a, a proper rename now when i make it to duplicate if you'll see here this table and this table all these steps that whatever we have applied it is there but what i will do is i have selected financial and then i'll click on manage and then i will say reference when i when i'll make reference you can see here it created a reference of this table without any steps that whatever we have added so that means a lot of time what will happen is if you want to have some query you want to uh, go to the report tab and you want to see some uh, visualization you can do that and you can you can always keep your reference or you can keep your reference and then you can start modifying from there so you can make duplicate and start modifying from there so this way you can use this uh, you know duplicate and reference options uh, which are really helpful to uh, uh, to create a duplicate of your table or create a reference of your table so reference it will take from the beginning as it is you will it will create a reference of that particular table so if you will say delete uh, you can see here uh, you will, are you sure you want to delete the third one yes and then you can see here the third one got deleted and when you will select other one it will uh, uh, delete and then um, the group by so if you will see here in this segment or let's say i'll select the country and i will say group by the moment i am saying group by you can see here it is saying country uh, because that's the column that we have selected next it is saying what column you want to create and then count rows so in this case country i want to actually see the number of uh, records present over there but you have other option for example if it is a numeric column you can probably take the sum you can take the average you can take this way okay max uh, count the rows so in this case count rows i'll click on okay you can see here i have this five countries and these many records are there the count is there so that means finance 140 records are there germany sorry france 140 record germany 130 mexico 140 records like this are there so let me just close it and then so in the next video we will see uh, some more examples in the upcoming uh, videos and this is how we can start with the uh, query editor